Hey everybody, I am very excited to share that I am officially one year off of sugar. If you've been following me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, wherever I am, you know that I have been off sugar and very loud and proud to be in this journey and, and just really on this path of really clearing my system and detoxing and getting myself off of a, a form of addiction that was definitely part of my life at one point in time. And even at the point where I thought that my diet was clean and I was you know, just having that bite of raw chocolate every night and that uh, watermelon and all of the sweeteners in my juices, like the pineapple juices and all the things I was eating, I thought that this was all really healthy, but really I was just pouring more sugar into my body. And, you know, I really am not here to push anybody in one direction or promote any one thing, but I just want to share my experience. Being off sugar has given me a level of clarity that I never knew I could have, more sustainable energy that I had never fathomed, a stronger immune system, which has been life-changing, truthfully, because it allows me to do so much more in the world. And a, a greater sense also of, you know, not going up and down with my weight. You know, I never really was struggling with that because I was eating very healthfully, but I've now had a consistent weight for a year without any ups and downs as a result of staying off the crack, AKA sugar. And so, you know, the other thing that I want to share, which is just my great celebration of this, is just the consistency of new behavior. This year I also celebrated nine years sober, as you may know, and being in the consistent pattern of creating new behavior is something I believe deeply in. And for some of us, I believe that abstinence is the greatest tool. And in some cases we can't be abstinent, whether it become relationships or sex or areas of our life or eating in general, we can't be abstinent. But we can choose the triggers, we can choose the areas of our life that really get us crazy, get us junked, get us into a place where we're just poorly behaving. And we have to get really honest with ourselves about what's working and what's not working. And one of the greatest tools for recovering from these addictive behaviors is being in a form of abstinence. And so I'll continue to count days now that I'm at a year. I'll keep counting my days off sugar and just consistently staying in this practice. And I really intend to stay here. It feels good. It's serving me. And I'm going to share with you in the links below my five spirit junkie tips for getting off sugar. So if this is something that you feel you want in your own life, you too can have the blessing of living a sugar-free life. And I will stay connected with you more. And another beautiful resource for this is my friend Sarah Wilson, who has the brand I Quit Sugar. And she is fierce and all of her books are amazing. And she's incredible cookbooks that get you off sugar and guidance and tools. And so check her out. And we'll probably be doing, do some more with Sarah and some interviews, and we'll keep you posted. But this is a celebration. I am off sugar a year. I commit to you to supporting you in any way that I can if you too want to get off sugar or anything else for that matter. And using that five spirit junkie tips for getting off sugar can help you with anything that you want to get off of. So use that tool in any form that will serve you. Have a beautiful day. Satnam.